Hi, today's date is July 15th, 2021. I'm Matt Gifford for today's video source inspection. Uh, we have an 870S model SRD with PSC 102 controllers. Uh, we only refurbished the top head of this SRD. Um, we've uh, sent the customer photos. We did recommend refurbishing the bottom, but we did no work on this. Uh, there's a little bit of corrosion. Um, the top head is fully refurbished, been through our extensive process, through all of our QC checkpoints. We are now in final test, and we're gonna show you the functionality of this tool. My customer is located in Washington, but uh, I'm going to keep their identity confidentiality, confidential, excuse me. So, so they can identify this tool. Their PO number is 458-65905. And we're going to run the top head only. And the recipe we're going to use today is a 30 second rinse, followed by a 10 second purge before we do a 90 second dry one. And then we slow it down for a 230 second dry two. So, let's begin in a second. Let's see what we have. We have N2 purging into the bowl. And uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. We have nine wafers. Rotor and cassette type is an A182, 60 MB. We're ready. Let's start. So I'm gonna walk you through our refurbishment process, our spare parts and service support for SRDs, and as well as other equipment we can provide at SciTech. So uh, 15 seconds left to go in our rinse. When we move to our purge, we're gonna speed up in RPMs and stay at high speed for our dry one as well. Uh, once we speed up, instead of this water, water falling down on the window, it's gonna start swirling. And by the end of the recipe, there'll be less and less water droplets as we go. So here's the purge, we're gonna start swirling. Every SRD that comes to SciTech for refurbishment goes through the same extensive refurbishment process. First, we'll take the SRD head assembly and break it down to the component level. From there, we chemically clean and electropolish all metal parts, as well as individually inspect every part for function. If a tool comes in with poly, we will also break down and clean the poly. Um, we did uh, clean the uh, poly enclosure um, we didn't do any work on the corrosion for uh, this bottom head here. So uh, we're looking nice and clean here, but there's no work done here. Uh, customer's choice, just want to make sure that's clear in our video. Um, once all parts are prepped, that's when we start building SRD head assemblies from the ground up. So we already have less water droplets and we're just kind of slowly going around in the circular motion now that a lot has fallen off the window. Once we build up the head assembly in entirety, that is when it is placed in our, into our dry QC checkpoint, dry test. This is where we inspect and test the SRD for full function without facilities installed. Once the tool goes through dry test, it goes into the wet QC checkpoint, which we call wet test. This is where we test and inspect the SRD for full function and make adjustments as necessary with facilities installed. Okay, we're about to slow down for our dry two in five seconds. Last step is final test, which is the configuration you see before you today. Up there's poly, it will be placed in poly. This is how the SRD is going to look in our customer's fab. So final test is here. All right, we've been running nice and smooth. So far, so good. We have about three and a half minutes to go. In final test, we'll run over 50 various process runs with different speeds and uh, times. We call this burn-in testing to make sure that it's ready for anything our customer throws at it in the fab. We also film a video source inspection. Some customers wait to receive the video before accepting the tool. Um, other customers let us ship and we do the video for documentation purposes. With COVID, by the way, I'm not wearing a mask because it affects the quality of the video. Everybody at SciTech takes COVID-19 very seriously and we all wear masks all day, every day at work. Even in sales, we have plexiglass surrounding our offices. Um, we take it very seriously. I put it on right after the video. This is so you can hear me better. So the video source inspection and burn-in testing is the last step, and then we create and ship. All righty. Just over two and a half minutes to go. Let's talk about our spare parts and service support. Um, SciTech is a worldwide leader in semi-tool and Vertex spare parts and service. We're now the owner for Vertex SRDs. 
Um, we can provide 100% of the spare parts and repair services necessary to upkeep your SRD. Um, parts we repair include rotor balances, motors including the brush and brushless types, controllers such as 228s, 328s, PSC 101s and 102s, and amps including the LC4s and LC5s. We do have a controller upgrade called the Slick Device Controller. If you look at our YouTube channel, you can look at our company president, Jim Mullaney's full demonstration and training video. It's uh, good stuff, it's about 20 minutes long. Or you can see the marketing video, it's about a minute long, just so you can look at it if you don't have the time to learn everything. But you'll like what you see. So all the parts I mentioned we can provide in new or refurbished condition. Call us at 916-797-9000 or uh, visit our website, www.scitechprocess.com. You can place an RFQ through there or email us direct at sales at scitechprocess.com. Other parts we provide include start switches, stop switches, door switches, windows, door seals, um, pressure switches, ACR valves, solenoid valves, rotor stop positioners, also known as the RSP for short. We'll come back to that part at the end of the recipe. Tack sensors, anti-static modules, N2 filters, N2 heaters, heater blankets, and anything you can think of. 100% spare parts and service. We are the worldwide leader in spare parts and service. Okay, just over a minute left to go. Uh, we've gone over our SRD support um, for the refurbishments as well as the spare parts. We also provide other equipment. Um, this customer has also bought equipment from us. Uh, some equipment we provide includes box washers such as the HTC 8010, 8020, and 8030. Mask cleaners including K&S and Ultra-T models. Metrology tools including profilometers, ellipsometers, resistivity, and more. We provide barrel ashers and etchers, YES ovens, a variety of microscopes, and far more equipment. You can see our entire catalog at SciTechProcess.com. Uh, it's always worth giving us a call. Um, one piece of equipment I did not mention is the spray solvent tool. We actually have a couple in our stock right now. If you're looking to add an SST, a refurbished SST to your inventory, please reach out. 15 seconds left. Once the clock strikes zero, it's still not safe to open the door. You could cause unwanted damage to your tool. What we need is, when this clock strikes zero, once we get down to 75 RPMs, the RSP I mentioned earlier, the pneumatic piston in the back of the tool will fire the rotor into the 12 o'clock position, but still we need to wait for the door seal to release all air. So there's the RSP. We're at 12 o'clock. And we're good to go. Door seal's released air. We have warm and tube purging in the bowl. No, window, no water droplets on the window, but we do have residual droplets of water in the bowl. This is good. You don't want your bowl to be bone dry. Let's pull out our cassette. It's warm to the touch. All nine wafers are dry. So this has been a successful recipe ran of our customers. 270S head assembly in the 870S double stack configuration. They're going to be very happy to get this tool back into their fab. We thank you for watching today's video. We'll see you next time.